Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video series. In this series, we are going to start the subject mobile computing. So first of all, let us understand what is the meaning of the subject name itself, the mobile computing. Okay. Okay. So first of all, the word mobile. So whenever we think of a mobile, so the idea, the thing which we will get in our mind is our smartphone, right? Yes. So we think that the mobile computing, so it is something with related to our mobile in that way we'll be thinking, right? Yes. So, but that is a bit wrong guys. So I'm not saying it's completely wrong, but it's a bit misconception you can say. Okay. So here the meaning of the mobile in the name of the subject or the whole concept of the whole subject is that the movement. So basically you can move the device. Okay. So it is nothing but a movable device you can say. Okay, so that is the reason why I have written it clearly. So mobile means it is nothing but movable or can move. So you can move it. Okay, so what is computing? So computer is nothing but it is a type of compute, computer technology you can say. Okay, so basically the original meaning of computing is like, so we will we will be having our systems, right? So your computer or your laptop. So basically they will be having some computation power, right? Yes, yeah, so it, it might be in terms of RAM, a processor and all those things. So basically if all those things you integrate into something which is a movable, so you can carry it from one place to another place. So that is a nothing but a mobile computing guys. Okay, so along with the traveling it, if you are able to send data from one of them to another of them, so assume that this is your first device and this is your second device. Okay, so for our example, let us consider mobile only as an example because the best example for it will be mobile, right? Yes. So with this mobile, you can call your friend. So assume that this is your friend and this is you. You can call your friend and communicate with your friend, right? Yes. So even you can move while you are moving from one place to another place, you can communicate. He can also move. So basically here, both of you can move and you are having some kind of technology in your mobile so basically it is also having some processor memory and all those things right yes so that is nothing but the mobile computing so basically a movable computer you can say in some funny language okay yes so now let us go through the definitions which are found in our books commonly okay so mobile computing is a technology that allows transmission of data voice and video via a computer or another or any other wireless enabled device without having connected to a physical link so basically why we are talking about the physical link guys because we want it to be movable right so if there is a cable attached to it so how can you move from one place to another place there you cannot carry a big wire right yes so that is the reason why the, it is wireless okay so wireless movable and mobile so remember that this mobile is not our smartphone okay yes so the example of mobile computing is you can say it's a smartphone okay yes so let us go through one more definition so mobile computing is a technology that allows anytime anywhere everywhere computing so you can do computing from every anywhere right so you can carry your mobile and you can talk to your friend from anywhere right yes so if there are the proper signals and all those things okay yes so in simple words you can say movable computer is nothing but mobile computing okay guys don't write this definition i'm just i wrote that just for your understanding okay yes so now let us go through few more terminology and then we'll be going through some properties guys okay yes so mobile communication okay so using this we can transfer information between two or more points that are not connected by an electric conductor so basically here now i am discussing about mobile communication okay so mobile communication is nothing but a movable devices or movable things which can communicate among themselves so that is what clearly written here guys there may be two or more also okay similarly mobile computing so again there are few definitions which are written in total we return three different three, three different definitions guys okay mobile computing so it is a technology that allows the transmission of data voice and multimedia via wireless and wireless enabled device okay so the first definition and this definition also same okay yes you can write any one of those definitions guys okay so now let us move on to some properties of mobile computing okay guys the definitions the properties everything seems to be a bit repeated so don't worry about that okay yes so it allows a user to perform any task from anywhere using a computing device so the device might be anything okay similarly communication is spread over both wired and wireless so basically i think it will be better if you write only wireless guys because here we are talking with respect to mobile computing right yes so better write only wireless okay yes so I hope everyone got some basic idea about the concept of mobile computing and its properties, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about some communication methods. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.